Uh, well, I'm actually from the European Commission okay, and uh, so presenting the work here from Pia Swal yeah. and myself. We are both at the Commission talking about morphological spatial pattern analysis, the open source release. And first of all, uh, what is it? So uh, as you see on the slide there, we try to put it on one slide, the key messages. You have a binary input map, which can be anything, for example, a forest map or grassland or protected areas or whatever, a raster map at the top left in gray which is foreground and background. Foreground is the objects of interest that you are looking at. They are then classified using mathematical morphology into so-called feature classes, where we have core areas, islets, which are small areas, which are too small to have core inside. Then you have uh, the outside perimeters, such as edge, the inside in blue are perforations. And then the key feature is that you can detect, and by now it's the only method which can actually detect connecting pathways between core areas. And you can see them in red, these are bridges, and in yellow, these are within the same core area, these are called loops. The background is also segmented into outside, let's say, and inside background, as you can see in the different uh, gray tones. The source code information is available there. And just to explain in a nutshell, so it captures the complexity of binary patterns from foreground and background pixels to a set of mutually exclusive feature classes which in, with intuitive meaning, which is very important for communicating the results, of course. You can use that on any kind of raster data for any kind of thematic classes because it's basically a geometrical approach, obviously also at any kind of scale, so from meter resolution to kilometer resolution or whatever. And the key feature is the connectivity detection, which is unique to this uh, methodology. And as I said before, we use morphological image analysis functions to apply this. And the open source release is based on the MIALIP, as it's called, you have the address there, including a C code, which is called MSPA.C. Some implementation highlights. There are a couple of functions which are very highly optimized to uh, give a good uh, computing uh, time or power, let's say. Linear with respect to the number of image pixels, as you can see in the graph. For example, there you have a map of the continental United States. It's a forest map, which we analyze with uh, about 100 meter spatial resolution. That uh, maps to about 75,000 by 55,000 pixels and it takes about one hour to process the entire map, which is pretty cool. So you can easily process also 30 meter or even higher resolution of larger areas. Memory footprint is about 20 times the number of pixels and the code handles up to two to the power of 64 pixels, so that's a lot and it's all in UNCC programming language. As an outlook, the MIALIP library can be easily integrated in any geospatial package um, Python wrappers are available at the address provided in the slides, the same as for Lisp, because initially this, pro this project was coded in Lisp, if someone still remembers that coding language, it's a long time ago. Then the MSPA is also available as a standalone pre-compiled application within the Guido's toolbox, uh, spatial pattern analysis, that's a freeware which I have done and that is included as well as the workbench, which uh, is also developed by us. Then there's a MSPA dashboard based on Voila under development, which is coming soon. Finally, if you want to know, or just to mention that this was initially released in 2007 as a pre-compiled package and not as open source, why it took 15 years to publish this as open source, I will talk about in the next session at 11.30 in this room up there. Thank you. <laughs>